As a heads up to friends in the room, I have finally determined the point at which I'm too drunk and should be removed from the party. This is the point where I change the music at somebody's party that is not my own. <laughs> where I get it in my head like, these people are enjoying what they're listening to, but they should have, they should have something better. It's not what they want, it's what they deserve. I'm like, Spotify Batman. And just run in, and, and I did it at a friend's party recently. We were listening to Huey Lewis, and I turned that off. Right there, I bet it should have been Shiv. That's a crime. That's a crime. Uh, but I wasn't changing it on his iTunes or something. I was turning, on, I changed it on a turntable. I didn't know how to work a turntable, which is how we got to listen to the Kanye West Jay-Z track, Nouveau Vrin Paris. <laughs> Which, by the way, is how a white comedian has to say the song title of his favorite hip-hop song from 2011. I ain't messing with no broke broke, because that's a series of nonsense words. Um, so to make sure that I don't make this social faux pas again, I've made a change in my life. I've decided to get a turntable. If you... If you thought I was gonna cut back on the drinking, you were at the wrong PBR sponsored event. Um, so I got a turntable and that's pretty retro, but you know what's more retro than that? Buying music. Did you know you can still buy music? I haven't done that in like 50, artists still wanna be compensated for that work. It's preposterous. It's like buying a typewriter to write the great American novel and at 27 realizing you don't know how to spell the word restaurant, so you give up. Sorry, world. I uh, recently rewatched the movie Clueless. Speaking of things that are retro, here's the retro scale on that movie. Uh, the music, the clothes, chubby Brittany Murphy, ethnic Brittany Murphy, Noxima, virginity, living Brittany Murphy, and finally using a physical map to navigate the valley. As if. <laughs> <laughs> 